Alright guys, I'm back here with another PyQGIS tutorial. You'll remember for our last one we didn't get as far as we wanted to. We ran into a few problems with me for getting lines of code. But what we did last time is we got a uh, layout view set up and we got our map layer added to the layout view. Um, what we didn't do last time was add a title, add a legend, and add a scale bar. So this time we're going to pick up there and we're going to add the legend, the scale bar, and the title. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to close out of the layout view, and I'm going to come back here to the code. So first of all, let's work on our legend. So we'll create a new legend item. So legend equals QGS layout item legend. And we're going to give it layout so it knows the layout to add it to. And then we're going to set the title. So legend.setTitle. If you don't want a title, you can leave this blank. I'm just going to give it the title Legend for now. Very generic. All right. And then we need to add the layers we want. So I'm going to do Layer Tree. It's going to be my QGS Layer Tree. And this is going to give us the layers for the legend. Um, so now I'm going to take my Layer Tree. And I'm going to add a layer which is the only layer I have. So if I had multiple layers, um, I could loop through those layers, um, which are just going to be the layer list The layer list I set here. I just loop through those and add them to the layer tree. And now I'm going to go to my legend model, so my legend.model, and I'm going to set the root group, and I'm going to set it with layer tree. And that will add those layers to the legend. Now I can do layout, add layout item, and I'm going to add my legend. Okay. Now let's move this legend so it's kind of on the right side uh, of the page. And so we'll do legend.attempt move and QGS layout point. We're going to move it to a point. Um, we'll do about 230, 15, and then we'll do QGS unit types dot layout millimeters. Okay, and if you're wondering how I know where to move these things to, the default size for this page uh, is eight and a half tall by 11 wide, and so there are 25.4 millimeters in an inch, so 254 you know, plus 25 puts you at 279 millimeters wide, and then you're going to be, you know, around 200 millimeters tall. Um, so that's just the dimension of my page, so I can move it to this point based on millimeters. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, click Run here and see if this worked out properly. So we'll run the script, no errors. Let's go back to our project, layouts, layout one. There you can see I have my legend with my layer name added up in that corner there. All right, good deal. Now this map isn't looking pretty. I'm not taking a lot of time to, to make this look pretty and to get things in perfect places. I'm just trying to get this, show you how you can get these things added to your map and then you can play around with the spacing and the, the positioning uh, for the, the way you like to do things. Okay, so we'll close out of that. Now, let's uh, go ahead and add a scale bar to our map. All right, so scale bar is gonna equal QGS layout item scale bar. And we're gonna give it layout. We wanna add to this layout. We're gonna do scale bar dot set style. And here, actually let me show you what I'm talking about here. We go to our project and our layouts and layout one. I can actually come over here and I can add a scale bar manually and I'll just drag it in right there. And here's my style. I can do a single box. I can do a double box. I can do uh, line ticks middle, line ticks down, line ticks up, numeric, 
OK, and that's just going to give you scale text, which is inappropriate unless you're going to print the map off. Um, but that's what this is talking about with the style. And so the style that I like best is uh, line ticks up. So we'll put that one in there. Then we need to go scale bar dot set units. And then we can go QGS unit types. Uh, so you can look this up from API, API documentation. For the QGS unit types, you'll notice we used it here. Layout millimeters, used it here, layout millimeters. Now I'm going to use it for distance. So I'm going to do distance, and here I'll do kilometers. All right. Okay, and then I'm going to do scale bar dot set number of segments left. And so this will set oh, number of segments right, excuse me. Sorry, I just want number of segments. I want to have four segments. I'm going to do scale bar dot set number of segments left zero. And so this will set the number of segments on my scale bar. I don't want any to the left of zero. I want them all to be to the right of zero. And so I've done that um, by setting this up. Okay. And now I can come down and I can do scale bar dot update. And then I can do layout dot add layout item scale bar. And then I'm going to move my scale bar. So let's do scale bar dot attempt move. And we'll do QGS layout for move it to a point. And I'm going to move it so it's close to the same place as that legend, but on the bottom of the page. So we'll do about 190. And then we'll do QGS unit types. And this will be layout millimeters. You can also do this with inches. You just you put in inches here instead of millimeters, and then you change this to QGS unit types layout inches. All right, let's see if this worked and see where we're at. Okay, I'm gonna click run. Oh, and I have a problem. Oh, I'm forgetting these parentheses to close that out. And let's click run. And I have another one. Oh, this needs to be capitalized, the O. And let's click Run again. And we have another one. Layout, millim. Open, oh, I forgot an E in millimeters. Lots of typos here. And let's click Run. And now it looks like we've worked. Let's go to Project, Layouts, Layout 1. And look, my legend does not look very good. Okay. So, what I need to do is I need to give it a spacing. So I've given it the segments, but I haven't given it how far in between each segment. And so let's go scale bar dot set units per segment. And we'll do this uh, 0.5 kilometers. And then let's give it a unit label while we're here also. So scale bar dot set unit label. And we'll set kilometers. OK, let's see if that fixes our problem. Go ahead and click Run, see if I've made any errors. And I haven't that time. And Layout, OK. And now you can see that I've got it in there and it's really small. So let's go ahead and delete that. And let's try to make this a little bigger. Some of this is really just trial and error. So let's go make this 5.0. And let's click Run. Let's go back to our layouts. Let's go back to Layout 1. Okay, and we're still getting that all bunched up. So, okay, I forgot another piece of code here, it looks like, which is very important. I'm going to change this back to 0.5.
Okay. So what's happening is my scale bar doesn't know where to take the units from. And so I need to give it a map to get these units from. So I'll show you what I mean. So if I go to project and I go to layouts and I go to layout one, and here's my scale bar, and it doesn't have a map right here. But if I select map one, all of a sudden my scale bar starts looking like it should. Okay? So what we'll do is we're going to close this and we'll go back and we'll just set that map here and we'll be good to go. So let's go scale bar dot set linked map and we'll give it map. Alright. Let's go ahead here and click run. And we'll go back to project, uh, layouts, layout one. And there's my scale bar uh, in increments of half a kilometer. Sweet. So I just want to show you one more thing here with the scale bar. And that's that we can adjust the font. So we can do scale bar dot set font. Give it a Q font. And then we're going to give it a font name and the size. We can make that Arial 14 and that will change my font. Alright, one last thing here. We're running uh, this getting a little long, but we'll add a title next. So let's create a title and this will be QGS layout item. It'll be a label and we're going to add it to layout and so now we do title.set text my title and then we're going to want to see if we can give it the fonts. We can do title.set font, Q font, Arial. Uh, we'll make this 24. Close that. All right. And then we can do title.adjust size to text. So this will make the the uh, title size the same as the font size and then we need to add it to the layout so we'll do layout dot add layout item add our title and then we need to do um, title dot attempt move and let's move this to um, Move it to about 10, 5. And then we'll do uh, QGS unit types dot layout millimeters. Okay. Let's see if this works or if I've made some errors. So I'll go ahead and click run. Got an error. Invalid syntax. Oh, this needs to be QGS layout point. Now let's click run. Okay, there we go. So we'll go project, layouts, layout one. And there you can see that I've added my title, I have my legend, and I have my scale bar. Okay. So we went through those things um, pretty quick. I didn't give you a ton of detail on all those things, but I did let you, I think I gave you enough that you can add these to a map layout, uh, move them around, and customize them enough to, to meet your needs. So I hope you've enjoyed these videos. If there are other videos you'd like me to do, other questions you have about using QGIS with Python, please let me know. Leave a comment below. Um, I'm working on getting code up on the website. I'm really slow at this. A lot of other things going on. But I am pretty good about uploading this code to the repository. So if you go to the other QGI, PyQGIS tutorials on my website, opensourceoptions.com, and click on the repo link, um, it will take you to that repository where you can find the code that's in there. I just haven't written these up in a website post yet. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day.